Hello all, welcome to AutoBoat YouTube channel. Today we are going to get familiar with one of the most useful activity in UiPath that is word activity and we are going to check the functionality called bookmark in the word. In many project these two combination will be helpful to create beautiful templates which we can use for reporting purpose. So let's start our session. Uh, so suppose if this is a template which I need to automate okay so i need to get few details as part of the process and i need to uh, add the name then i need to add the start date then i need to add the designation manager details so i need to fill all these details so in the manual use case how this will be happening like we have to get the data then we have to open this excel sheet, uh, uh, word document then we need to paste the details here right Again, we need to go to that process. We need to get the start date. Again, we need to paste it, right? So that will be the process and we'll have to save it. And if we need to mail, then we have to attach and we need to send uh, in, uh, in the mail, right? So that will be the format. So uh, it will be a repetitive work uh, to copy paste all these data to the template. So how we can achieve uh, this process via UiPath uh, word activity? So let's see how we can do that. So this is uh, the template which we are going to use. So uh, before uh, starting uh, the UiPath scripting, uh, let me show you one functionality in a Word document. Okay, that is bookmark. For that, what you have to do is you have to go to insert. Okay, so inside that you can see the bookmark tab will be there, right? So just click on that. So inside that, it is asking to uh, create the bookmark, right? Bookmark name. So wherever if you make a selection and if you click on add and if you give a name, it will keep that location as a bookmark. Okay. So that is how this bookmark will work. And we are going to use this bookmark uh, functionality inside the word activities to create this dynamic reports. Okay. So let me show you that. For that, what you have to do is I'm going to select the space in front name. I'm going to click on bookmark. I'm going to name it like a row one. Okay. I'm going to add it. I'm going to select the space in front start date. Going to name it like a row two. Same like that. You have to repeat uh, till uh, where you want to add the data. Okay, so for designation, I'm going to add row three. Manager row four. Username row five. This is row six. This is email ID. It is a uh, row seven. And uh, the last one is a uh, location, right? So I'm going to use uh, row eight as the bookmark name. Okay. So our bookmark is done. Just save the template okay so this is the template which we are going to use for creating our dynamic uh, reports okay so where i have kept this template is it is within the project folder okay template dot docs and this is our process so we are going to start the automation first what we have to do we have to copy the file right or we have to uh, make a new file with the same template right so i'm going to use copy file just drag and drop it so what is the name so what is the name of our uh, template it is template dot docs right or uh, here you can click and you can uh, browse for the file okay and what should be my uh, file name i'm going to name it like my docs dot do cs docs okay 
you see it okay so that is done i'm going to click on overwrite suppose if there is a file over there it will overwrite on top of that okay so that part is done then what should be the next step we have to use the word activity to set the content to the bookmarks that we created inside the template for that i'm going to activities i'm searching for word okay so i think that the package is not available in my machine for uh, for getting that package what you have to do is go to manage package uh go to all package search for word yeah here you can see your path word activity so just click on that and install the activity okay So that is uh, installing the dependencies uh, in my UiPath Studio. So let it complete uh, the installation of this uh, package. So once this installation got completed, we can see all the web activities inside our activities panel. Okay. So the installation is complete and now I'm going to switch for word. Okay, so we can see a lot of word activities uh, got installed now. Uh, so the first one is add hyperlink to document. Suppose if we want to add some hyperlink to the document, you can use this activity. Suppose if we want to add some picture, you can use this activity. Or if you want to append uh, some text to the document or to the template, you can use this one. Or uh, suppose if you have some table that you want to insert to the document, uh, this one you can use insert uh, data table in the document. And paste chart bar picture into document, read test from the document, then uh, replace the picture if there is some picture already there. And if you want to replace it like logos or something, you can use this one then uh, if you want to replace some uh, text in the document you can use this particular activity and if you want to rename or if you want to save it as a, another name you can use save document as and if you want to save the document word document to a pdf file you can use a word document as a pdf and a set bookmark content so this is the activity which we are going to use uh, now for uh, meeting our uh, uh, requirement and word application so scope this should be the container so all this action we can give inside word application scope and this is this is working like the container for the word operations so i'm going to drag and drop this it will ask for the document name i have to give my docs dot do cs so uh, this mydocs.docs is the uh, duplicate file of the template right so what are the bookmarks that we created it will be there in the mydocs.docs also so what is the next step that we have to do we have to use set to bookmark content so okay so i'm just going to copy paste set bookmark content and what should be the bookmark name okay suppose if i'm giving row one row one was the name which i gave for name right that was my first bookmark okay so i'm going to give row one it should be inside a double quotes okay and what should be the test so suppose if you want to integrate this as part of some other process you will be getting these details like name or something from uh, uh, using some variable so that a variable you can place it here uh, for this demo purpose i'm just hard coding the values okay so i'm just giving like a auto port I'm just to copy this paste this activity uh, eight times because we need to add for uh, uh, eight bookmarks, right? Okay, so that is done. What is the next thing that we have to do? That should be row two. What is that start date? So I'm going to give the start date as zero one zero one two zero two two okay so what is uh, 
the next bookmark that is row 3 that is a designation I am going to give like a, okay RPA lead okay uh, then what is the fourth bookmark that is uh, row 4 and uh, the uh, detail record is manager name okay so I am going to give some name like uh, mark okay mark up any I'm going to give the name like that and uh, the fifth bookmark is row 5 and the content required is username right uh, in your process you may be using some logic for creating the username so that details you can uh, pass it here okay so I'm removing the space for the username and I'm keeping like auto board and what is the sixth one sixth value is a temporary password okay so i am going to give test one two three as the password okay and uh, seventh one is email id and last one is location right so seventh one i am going to give auto bot at outlook.com and last one is the location right so i'm going to give delhi okay so we have added all the bookmarks i'm going to delete the last one so that part is done and uh, suppose if we want to convert this uh, word file to a pdf we, we can use this activity so i'm just going to create a pdf file also i just uh, added that and here you have to give the name of the pdf so i'm going to give my pdf okay dot pdf okay so if you are going to do you have to uh, give proper uh, labels for all these activities it will be helpful for uh, the understanding of the process okay so I'm just going to execute the flow and I will show you how this process is working. So this is our template, right? is charting our my docs then it is adding the details one by one photo board then it is adding the date then all the details it got added right so this is how the bookmark and the word activity is working okay now the execution got completed and it should have created a pdf file also so i'm going to project here you can see uh, a file got created template.docs and uh, i'm just going to the project folder for generator so i'm just opening that see all the details got uh, appended and if you want to share it to uh, the manager or to the employee you can share it via mail so this is how you can use bookmark activity along uh, with the uh, word activities in the UI path to make dynamic reports. So this will be helpful. Hope this video is interesting and it's useful for you. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please share the video to your friends, like the video and do subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.